Okay, the next one comes from Dope D. Dope D is a is an active uh, participant in Ask Musique, and I'm hoping that he's as active in Ask Us Bro. And he says, should the NBA fully implement NBA on TNT, NBA on a, uh, ESPN, NBA TV, and ABC in the game looking for it? So what he's looking for is TNT, NBA, and T, uh, NBA TV, uh, and ESPN stuff for regular season games, ABC for the playoffs. And he's saying that this is something that 2K should really look into because uh, EA's license for NBA Live and ESPN, that link is ending next year. So I have to check on when that just to, to confirm when it, it when or if it is ending with with EA. But I will say this. Um, I think those licenses are largely a waste of money and a waste mm -hmm. of resources. Um, I think that. 2K, EA, all of these sports video games could do so much more by literally creating their own virtual networks with their own actual anchor people and things of that nature. You can create the same level of presentation, right? And you can do things that can't even that 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 these major network things can't actually even do because of whatever licensing and agreements or whatever you can bring in your own pre like 2k used to do it mm -hmm. with the old 2k football games and the old 2k basketball oh, games. Yeah. Had like oh, yeah. dan o'keefe or whatever and nobody it didn't bother anybody yeah i you think know, I, I totally agree with you it's it's about raising the level of presentation Mm -hmm. To the point where you feel like the way you named all those networks, yeah. you named TNT and FS1 and all this other stuff, you feel like 2K is just another one of them. It's yeah. just in the video game world mm -hmm. that there's no difference. Because I'll tell you what, with uh, Shaq and Ernie and Kenny, I don't feel like a TNT logo would improve that experience for me. Mm. I think if the studio looked better, that would improve the experience, right? Like the studio is not, no offense to the 2K art team, but that's not one of their strong points. It doesn't look as good as the NBA on TNT studio with like the big TV in the back and the desk and everything like that. So, you know, they, I think they just need to raise the presentation so that it is a virtual network that is of the quality of these other networks in as much as you see it. And I also think it would improve access, right? So if I got Dan O'Keefe and whoever, Mike Davis, whoever, just some guy, some guys, right? Who were who, you know, interns or guys who are talented, who, you know, who have done something like this in the past. If I got those guys on the contract, how much more frequently do you think I could get them to come down to 2K studios, to EA? to record new lines, to record new footage. We can constantly update this game because a lot of times you're working around these guys' schedules because they are on-screen talents. They are this or they are that. Well, what if 2K made stars of these network personalities because they were, they were known from the game? You know how many people get recognized because they appeared in a video game? Like that happens, you know, and I, I really think that, you know, it's it's um, it, it's something that isn't um, that, that isn't that isn't that, that, that I think I think these developers and publishers, they really put this um, they put a, too much emphasis on these networks, some of these licenses, some of these licenses just are totally unnecessary, man. I agree with you on the company licenses. I don't agree on the individual talent. Now, I want to temper this by saying it's not that I don't think that there are some jobs that could be filled by independent talent, uh, people who aren't working for that network specifically or a big network, but they're really, really good. I think there's some of that stuff out there, but for the most part, I mean, for me, if they got Charles Barkley, there's nobody better than Charles, right? Like, Ernie is a beast. I haven't seen anybody on TV or, you know, even YouTube doing Ernie's job that's better than Ernie. So, Ernie Johnson. So, you know, I think that the top talent is the top talent for a reason. And I would say the bar for me would be if I'm bringing in somebody new that's specific to my virtual sports network, they would have to be as good as the TV talent. And I'm probably a little more skeptical than you 
about how many people are at that level that they would not only be the quality, but they would overcome the feeling that we get when we see, you know, David Aldridge in the game. You know what I mean? The authenticity that that brings. When we see, hear uh, Kobe Bryant speaking on guest commentary, like that's for me, I'm like, oh, I forgot Kobe was in this game. That's awesome. You know, that I think, I think that the actual athletes and for that type of splicing, I think that works. But to be honest, Ernie is awesome and there is nobody like Charles. But the point, the, the, the thing is, is that you're not really getting Ernie. You're not really getting Charles. You're getting whatever amount of lines they were able to come in and record for that one session that they did or whatever group of sessions that they did. If you have a actual employee, a contracted employee whose job it is to come in and record stuff weekly, because this is what they do. This is that what they're, they, I mean, they literally pay Rachel Demita to do 2K TV all of those times, all of that time. Right. How much more impacting would it have been to spend similar money on somebody to be the in game commentary team? Yeah, my point still stands though. Like I see what you're saying, but I I it would still have to be better than having what we have of Ernie's time and, and Shaq's time and Kenny's time and I think it definitely would be crew. as long as you get a person I mean obviously you don't just go get some bland guy who sounds like yeah, Charlie. That's Brown. what I'm saying. It, I think the proof is in the execution of that concept. Yeah. You know, but overall, I think the number one answer is to raise the level of presentation so that there's more room for the talent to be better when you do have them. For sure. For sure. 